and welcome to PUBG Notes. I'm Godspeed, and today we're going to look at all the awesome international PUBG action that's going to take place at this year's PGC. Here are my notes. There are a lot of teams competing in PGC this year from all over the world, but unfortunately, we don't have enough time to talk about all of them, so I'll touch on a few of them from each region. And I'll kick it off with my home region, the Americas. Coming in hot off their back-to-back -back wins in ESL Masters Phase 2 and PCS 5, Oath is looking to improve on their PGIS performance and win some big money. While it's some of their team's first big international tournament, KPI is ready to go, with their leader Silzen having won a nice chunk of change last year in PGIS as part of meta. And of course, who could forget the champions of PGIS, the back-to-back-to-back -back -back PCS champions, the Sonics. PGIS champions are the Sonics! And while Oath put a stop to the PCS win streak in PCS5, the Sonics are coming into Korea feeling just as confident as ever and ready to repeat their big PGIS win. Moving east on the globe to Asia, we've got a lot of great teams in this region, two of the best being Genji and Petrocourt Road. During most of PGIS, Genji was a team a lot of people assumed would win the whole thing, and they were good enough to do that as they came in a very respectable third place last year, winning just shy of a million bucks. On the other end of the PGIS final leaderboard is Petropro Road, who came in 16th overall last year in Korea, but that placement isn't really representative of the team they are today. I expect a much better performance from them this year. <laughs> Moving on to APOC, two of the top teams from that region this year are Burram United Esports and Fury. Americans love to call any team or person from Australian, that is good, the Thunder from Down Under, and I guess I'm no exception. Fury is the true Thunder from Down Under, coming off of a second and fourth place finish in PCS4 and PCS5 in APAC, and these guys are ready to go for the really big money on the international stage. Now, while Burr Remy United Esports only came in 23rd place in PGIS, they're coming in a hot with a first place finish in PCS4 APAC, and that qualified them for PGC, and they're ready to keep those good feelings going as they head into the event. Europe is sending some of its top teams, and two of those are Virtus Pro and FaZe. The storied FaZe Clan is the dominant force across multiple esports, and PUBG is no different. With the second place finish in the PCS5 added to the list of accomplishments, FaZe is in fighting shape for PGC. And last but not least, the team that puts fear in the hearts of their opponents this year is Virtus Pro. They came in 10th place in PGIS and banked it a cool 150k, but nobody would be surprised if they dropped that 0 from 10, put it on the end of 150k this year because they really are that good. The format will be the same as PGIS with weekly survival series with teams fighting for spots in the weekly finals where all the big money will be won in the point system. There are a lot of great teams heading into PGC this year, and any of them could take home the title. So make sure to check back here on all the updates on PGC as they come in, and make sure to tune in to all the incredible international action that's going to take place at PGC this year. It's going to be nuts. I'm Godspeed, and these have been my nuts.